Oh, hey guys, thank you for joining me today at this beautiful hotel. We are standing in front of the Hotel Montebello Splendid. If you know nothing about this place, which you probably don't because why would you? It's a five star hotel. Yes, we're doing five star reviews now. This is a hotel that was built in the 1800s and it's very Victorian, it's very old. It's nice though, it's like not old in a bad way. So let's go through this nice spinny door and I'll show you around. But before we do that, hey, I'm Brendan Taylor. If you don't know who I am, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and be notified every time I post. I have really cool merch and it's available at brendantaylor.com. That's it about me, really. I just got colored eyes and a cool personality, I guess. That's what my mom says. Anyways, let's go check this hotel out. Come on. This is electric. Oh, why'd you have to go in the same one as me? Where does this make sense? Come on, Jay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's make our way to the restaurant, right? So, look, as you can see, it's very like Hollywood Tower of Terror-esque in a way. It kind of looks a little freaky, but it's in a cool way. Like, I almost feel like the queen would walk through here. So, we got a nice banquet hall hallway. Look at these old pictures. Like, if you don't believe me, this right here, that's Paul Revere. Shouldn't touch it. Oh, look, you're right. <laughs> Made by Leonardo da Vinci himself. They got some great perfume that they're selling. They have quaaludes in there. See Wolf of Wall Street? Wolf of Wall Street, let's take some of those. Maybe later, let's keep going. So, this hotel is super dope. The one thing I really like about this hotel is that you have a cool little living area. Like this is just the lounge area that you'd kick back, you have a good time. We got really cool bellmen that don't say nothing about you filming here, which I love. If this was LA, they'd kick us out. Oh, they got free wine and peanuts? Yeah, we got free beer. Is this uh, complimentary for us? No. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was worth a try though, right? It's uh, uh, the happy hour. Ah, oh, happy hour, yeah. so discount. Yeah, you okay. have discount. If you, if you buy one glass of wine or a beer, you, you have another. Beer. Oh, look at that. We got deals on deals on deals. Like how much is one beer? Nine euro. Ah, oh, so that's why. You go down the street at three dollars and you get a <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. Five, five stars. Is, that's what I'm saying. It's a nice hotel. So then we come over here and we got a really nice bar. This is what one of my favorite spots to hang out in. You got hors d'oeuvres, the happy hour, get a, get a nice beer, get a nice glass of wine, have have a nice time. Beautiful bar. Then we got a beautiful restaurant, man. Is this five star food? Yeah, uh, see it's a 30. At 6.30, you got five star food. And in the mornings, you have breakfast here. It's a buffet, it's beautiful. I didn't get to have anything. I did steal a waffle this morning. I wish I had a shot of it. I had to do what I had to do, you know what I mean? It's expensive, $39, I ain't got that kind of money. Look at this. This is fancy living. Do you hear the music? Ciao. <laughs> you guys seen the restaurant, you've seen the bar, it's pretty nice. Let's go up to the room and let's go check out what we got. You see this merch? BrennanTaylor.com. Are you zooming on my ass again? <laughs> That's Burberry, baby. So yeah, it's just a really nice, relaxing vibe in here. You know, a lot of people like a lot of different things. This is like a real Amber Shoal vibe. If you know my friend Amber, she loves this kind of stuff. She likes old, she likes vintage. It's beautiful. So now we make our way to the elevators. The one thing I don't really like about this hotel, not to talk smack or anything, but the hotels are, it's so hot in these elevators. Like, I feel like they got heat on Max. And I don't be Max Lichenfield. Who's Max Lichenfield? It's Michael Lichenfield. <laughs> That's your friend. That's my friend from high school. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing is, is these don't work. These never work. I know, we're paying top dollar for this room. I'll, I'll explain everything when we get into the room. Damn, I look so fat from this. <laughs> Suck in, man. Jesus, I was relaxed. Ooh! These elevators are pretty fast. Almost gives you, like I said, those Tower of Terror vibes. But I like Disneyland. It's a good ride. So in Europe, when you leave your hotel, you always gotta pull the key card from the inside. And the inside is what powers everything. Basically, your air conditioning, your lights, everything like that turns off as soon as you pull the key card from inside. I'll show you, watch. Real fancy living. Just push to go in. As you can see, the lights are off. You just put your key card right in there. The lights are on. Check out this wallpaper. If this isn't Victorian, I don't know what is. We have prouncing cheetahs on the wall. We'll get a shot of that so you can see. Look right here, we got two nice beds. So we actually stayed in this hotel already one night because we wanted to really test how everything was before making a review of the place. We didn't want to make a review and then have bug bites all over or you know have a lumpy back or something. So we literally stayed here last night so we can really give a proper review. So we got two beds right here. We also have a nice king size bed upstairs. This is one of their suites. It's a junior suite because you know what? This is coming out your boy's pocket and your boy ain't balling that hard, you know what I mean? But 
it's got everything you need, okay? So let's make our way over here. We got two nightstands, two twin beds. We got a flat screen TV. I'm guessing this is about a 40 inch, maybe a 38 inch, something like that. We got a nice couch. And the best part about staying in fancy places is you find money. Look at that, $1.50. <laughs> That's a score if I didn't think so. In here, we got a, cl oh. It's a closet. We'll just keep the door shut. Cool thing about this place is we got like a very old box. You sit here and you think, what is this box? You know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense. It's just a random box. Well, it's a fridge. And everything in here is overpriced. Trust me because this morning I had a $7 espresso. <laughs> Fancy living? More like, let me spend all my money here. Another cool thing about this hotel, if Jake would move his monstrosity of a plug, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna unplug for a second so we can get a full view. This little box right here controls everything. You, you don't like the blinds open, you click night mode. And look at, the blinds are closing. Mm -hmm. This is night mode. Whoa. Now you don't know what time it is. But for video purposes, we're gonna open them back up. Other cool things that you can do with these buttons, we got a light button. I don't know what lights those just turned on. That up. one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, see, I'm, I'm still new to this. This one, boom, boom. And then this one, I don't really know what this X does, so let's find out. Ah! What the hell? I don't know where Brennan went, but it's my time. And this is Jake Bathroom Rundown! Whoa, what the, how'd you get over here? I don't know, that was a portal button, but I'll, I'll let you do your thing, all right? I'm gonna go back through this portal and go outside. Oh. Huh. I don't know how he did that, but all right, and this is Jake's bathroom review. All right, first off, this bathroom is very, very chic. You got this little thing right here, this mirror, normal mirror, this mirror, zoomed mirror, so you can see all those pimples. Look, I got one right there in my forehead. It's not doing so well. Then over here, you got this blow dryer. It comes complimentary, because you know you don't have to bring one. That, that sounds like it's broken, but. It's really good, man. It dries your hair in 2.3 seconds. You also have this towel rack up here. It gets really warm, so you can warm your towels. What I'm doing right now is, just, I mean, I didn't bring enough socks, so I'm using this to dry. You gotta little flip it every 30 minutes, make sure they dry, you know? You got two toilets. I don't know what this one's for, but yesterday, Brennan pooped in there, and we had to literally pull it out and put it in the right toilet. He wasn't really thinking too well. Over here, you got this little thing called a, a boobed, like a bath and a tub put together. I don't know who invented that. But also, there's a little portal, so I guess that's kind of cool. And that's it. Let's get out of here. Oh, hey. Okay. I literally went through the wall. It was I, insane. I thought about trying, but then I said, nah. Anyways, let's go show you my room upstairs. Yeah, I know. I kind of gave my mom the crappy bed, but you got to think about it. Like, I'm paying for this room. Thousands of dollars. So let's make our way upstairs. We got some nice red carpet. Like, And then the wallpaper goes all the way up here. Believe it or not, this is the king bed. Wow, I don't remember putting my laptop there, so I think the cleaning people were gonna try to hack my YouTube channel. Could you imagine that? Just the cleaning people making a YouTube video, cleaning stuff? It'd be crazy. Anyways, I got the cool buttons up here. I can control everything they can control. I can shut those windows too. So if someone's pissing me off in the morning, Jake, just know I'm gonna open those blinds oh, real early. Shit. Anyways, this is nice, you know, basically. Ugh. I just kick back here, usually in a one star. You'd see me lifting the mattresses with a black light, trying to find stains, but I'm not gonna do that here because there's gonna be tons of stains. One, because I had hella girls here last night, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. There wasn't a single girl here last night. That's not true, Jake. There was tons of girls here. Jill, for example. J-I-L-L. -L. We and her had a great time. You nasty. I'm nasty. Anyways, come back over here. We got a, we got a phone, which is, which is great news for me. Do I want to call operator? Hello, can I talk to operator? Yeah, I like me a chicken nugget sent up to room 230. Thank you. Order chicken nuggets all night long. Room service goes till 2 a.m. So I can order till then. I got a nice TV up here, same size as downstairs, and I also got this nice coat rack where I can hang up my one sweaty shirt that I wore earlier today. Pit stains off the heebie-jeebie. I don't know, is it just me? Am I the only one who sweats profusively in the armpits? I need Botox. Anyways, I say anyways a lot. This is a really nice room. I really like it. It's just a nice room. And the cool part about this room is I actually have my own AC unit up here. So at times it does get hot, not for me. I get to blow myself with cool air all night long. 
And don't I love that? Yes, I do. Another cool thing about this room is that the closet is directly under us. And it's the only place in the room that has a full length mirror. So my mom sits down there and does her makeup in the morning. And I love throwing things at her while she's doing her makeup. Keep it up, Brennan. Keep it up. She doesn't love that though. Lastly, this is a nice room. And I'm gonna talk about what I paid for this room just because I wanna let you guys know that yes, you know, I did spend this for a room, but it's because I care about my family and I care about you guys. I wanted to make this content for you. So it's not actually the most expensive room that you would think it would be. It's be, it's about $300 a night for this room. So it's about $1,000 for our stay, which is kind of a lot of money. But if you think about it, I don't really have an excuse for what I did. I just kind of wanted to treat my family right. You know, I wanted to put them in a nice hotel, somewhere where they can really enjoy themselves. This is the hotel I chose. So if you guys want to see me stay in more five-star hotels, let me know in the comments below I know this isn't always about just you know staying in the most expensive or like penthouse suites like I did in New York I know you guys remember that video if you missed it go check it out this is about staying in rooms that are in a five-star hotel so this is what you would get for $300 a night in Italy you'd be staying like this and this is pretty good because we have seen other rooms that we've stayed in in here in Italy and they don't look like this so if you enjoyed this video please smash the thumbs up button if you want to see more let me know in the comments Hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Get the merch, brennantaylor.com, and join the movement of being the firest fire in the flame. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, see you later. Peace. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.